Welcome to Arlation Studios, and today we're going to talk about using your DAW to take a Source Connect voiceover session and connect it to a Zoom meeting. Hey, this is Paul, and it's crazy how much we've been doing this lately. We've got a Source Connect voiceover artist, and we have a client who normally would just come sit in the studio with us. We'd listen on our great speakers. Everything would sound awesome. But now they need to record remotely from work or home, and they need to connect in so they can talk to the Source Connect artist, and the Source Connect artist can talk to them, and we can talk to everybody. As an audio engineer, we've got to bridge that gap between them. Now, it's not rocket science, doesn't take a lot of math, but it's some brain-bending busing, and that's what we were going to talk about today. So we're using Logic Pro 10 for this. We'll make a separate video about Pro Tools, but today's workflow will be in Logic Pro 10. So let's get started. Got a brand new session here with Logic, and we're going to make an audio track. And I'm going to name this Record and just let this sit for a minute. I want to quickly check my sample rate on my session because if your sample rates are mismatched, well, it's just a mess. And of course it is. This defaulted to 44.1. Um, to 48. And because our voiceover artists, everybody's, we work in 48, a lot of television and film stuff. So we need to always be at 48. Now, let's jump over to the mixer. The first thing I need to do is I need my talk back to go to everybody. I need it to go to Source Connect and I need it to go to Zoom. So let's make a new aux channel and call its input one. Now I'm listening, you're hearing me and I'm hearing myself on my focus right red four and that's coming into input one. Now if I turn this up, then we start, start to hear the doubling. That's because now we're hearing the logic monitoring. We got a little bit of latency there, which is, this is fine. But I don't want to use this fader for the session and I don't need to. I can turn this down and use all pre-fader buses to accomplish what we're gonna do. So let's set one up. Jump over here and let's make a bus one. And this is gonna all be for Source Connect first and then we'll do Zoom. So I've got bus one made on my talkback channel. Let's name this TB so we can keep track of what's going on. I'm gonna turn the volume up. And right away, if I turn this up, you see I'm feeding into that aux two over there. And that's, that's what we want. We wanna see it feed over. I'm gonna name this SC for Source Connect. But the problem is, if I turn this up to feed it, then I hear the doubling of my mic, and I don't want that. So I'm going to make this pre-fader. Now, you see it's feeding over into the Source Connect channel, and that's good. I know it's doubling. We're going to break that doubling by bringing the plug-in in. So let's go to Audio Units, Source Elements, Source Connect Link. We bring it in, and yes, the doubling's gone. Oh, it's, just a, it's a relief. And you see that I'm feeding into Source Connect Link right now. If, you, if I turn this down on the bus, it's gone. Turn it back up. So you see that that's how I'm feeding into Source Connect Link. And Source Connect Link is the plugin that sends us into Source Connect. Now, I'm going to open up Source Connect, log in real quick. If you've not used Source Connect, you might want to jump in on a tutorial on that before we go further because we're not going to go into the small details about that. You can see that Source Connect's input and output is my focus right right now. That's how it's seeing my microphone. And that's great, you don't need a DAW to use Source Connect unless you want to record it. Then you've got to get it into your DAW. And that's how we're going to do it with the Source Connect Link plugin. So we're going to change the input and output to Link. And this is Link right here, right? This is this plugin. So as you can see, if I turn this bus down, one, two, one, two, it's gone. Bring it back up, one, two. So that's how we're feeding into Source Connect. Here's the fun part. Let's do a quick test. Let's jump on the 48 stereo. Uh, oh, and I'm going to make my bus here. Stereo, because I might want to send music. Although my mic is coming in mono, I might want to send music. Now, sometimes when you make that change, of course, see how Source Connect switched back. So we're going to, you got to always check that. So even though my mic is mono, I'm coming in on both sides. That's good. Let's do the test. Source Connect has an echo test. And the awesome part is if you hear your echo, then that's what the voiceover artist, that's what you would be hearing coming back to you. So we're going to hook up to that real fast. There we go. We got a green file. There we go. We got a green file. And now we have that echo. And that we now love we have that echo that we love to hear. The echo represents the, the voiceover echo represents person on the, the other end. The voiceover person on the other end. And the fact that we're hearing it is and excellent. The fact that we're hearing it is excellent. Now that echo is coming from the Source Connect channel. You can turn it down right here. You can turn it down right here. But you'll want to leave it up, and that's how but you can control the volume. That's how you can control the. Whew, let's disconnect from that. All right. So that's all good. Now the last part of the Source Connect part of this is to send Source Connect, the voiceover person, into your record channel. Now right now it's just set up for input one. If I turn that on, you can see my mic's coming in. But I want to pick up the Source Connect or the, the echo at this point. That's going to be the voiceover artist. So again, I'm going to use a bus. Let's go to bus two. I'm going to send Source Connect out of bus two. I'm going to turn it up. And you can use this post fader. It's fine for now because we want to be able to hear it as well as send it. 
Now, the next aux channel is Logic made it. It's aux 3, and I'm going to call this to record. And that's it. You can leave that right there. It doesn't have to do anything. Now, I'm going to change the input from input 1, which is my mic, to bus 2. Now, so you see the input's going away. And what should happen now is that when I hook up with the echo hookup, I should see the echo come back into that channel. Here we go. There comes the Here echo. Here we go. There comes the echo. <laughs> Let's record it. <laughs> Let's record it. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. My headphones are a little loud. That's My headphones why are a little loud. That's one, why the bleed was happening. Two. One, two, one, two. This is the voiceover person This is talking. the voiceover person talking. All right, so now we play that back, and that it would, would be the voiceover artist. My headphones are a little loud. That's why the bleed was happening. One, two, one, two. All right, so that's the voiceover artist. So we have the Source Connect side of this all ready to go, right? Now, let's just get rid of that. Now... My talkback's going into the Source Connect plugin. The voiceover artist is coming in through Source Connect. We've able to record the track. Now, let's deal with Zoom. We're going to use Source Nexus to accomplish this, and Source Nexus is a way to take our DAW, send a plugin as an audio driver into Zoom. So we're going to make a new bus. Now, let's do it with my talkback mic because my talkback needs to go to Source Connect, and now my talkback needs to go to Zoom. Let's pick the next bus in line. That's bus three. Logic makes the aux channel for you with the bus three assigned to it. And I'm going to make that stereo just for fun. And I'm going to call this two zoom. <clears throat> I'm also going to make this bus three pre fader because I don't want to turn my fader up, right? Because otherwise we get that, right? Now, now to break, break this chain, I'm going to bring in audio unit, source elements, source nexus. Ah, there we go. So my mic is coming into Source Nexus right now. And again, if I take this bus three, turn it down, it's not coming in, turn it back up, take it to zero. And now I know I'm coming to Source Nexus. Now, here's what we do with Source Nexus. Let's head over to Zoom. And when you installed Source Nexus, it installed two audio drivers, uh, Source Nexus A and Source Nexus B. Now, I'm going to go into the preferences of Zoom, into the audio part. And first of all, we're going to pick up, I've got Source Nexus A. You can see it's, normally it would be Focus Right Thunderbolt, right? And so my mic is going in and they can hear me. I'm going to switch this over to Source Nexus A. And you can see that my mic is being picked up there. I could turn bus 3 down over here and that would be gone. So that is, that is where we're feeding into Source, to, into Zoom. I know, it's kind of crazy. So bus three going into Source Nexus, and then we picked up Source Nexus A. And you can see it here in the plugin. Right here it says Source Nexus A. We're sending to Source Nexus A, and that's how we're picking it up. Now, we want to send back to Source Nexus B. And you can see here in the Source Nexus plugin that B is the receive channel. If I hit test speaker, you see it coming in. I also hear it in logic. See the two zoom? Right? It's coming back in. If I turn this down, right, that's where that's coming back in. So Zoom is set up now that my talkback's going to Zoom. Anything I play, and well, my talkback's coming into Zoom. Let's just leave it right there. Now, how do we bridge the gap from Zoom into Source Connect? Here's the, here's the mind bender right here. We're going to take this Source Nexus, which is feeding and receiving from Zoom, and go back to bus one and send it into Source Connect. Turn up to zero. And now what should happen is when I do that speaker test in Zoom, we should see that pick up right here. Watch this. So my confidence is 100% that the audio from Zoom is going into Source Connect. Now, how do we confirm that? Well, we can do the echo test, and what should happen is in the echo test, we should hear that audio from Zoom echo. There we go. There we go. We've got a good connection now. We've got a good connection now. And so I'm going to hit this and test And so I'm going to hit this test speaker. And we should hear it echo. And we should hear it echo. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Ha, <laughs> yeah. And if we record. And if we record. So right now that echo so right now that echo of the speaker should be of the speaker should be the voiceover artist the voiceover artist Turn that off uh -huh.
Check it out. Go back. Stop. Now we're not recording Zoom. We're recording the voiceover echo. And so that, in this setup, now you're ready to have your Source Connect voiceover artist talk to your Zoom artist and back and forth. Everybody should use headphones because that makes it easier. But that is how we accomplish putting Source Connect and Zoom together. Now, I know it's kind of tough to tell without some people helping me out. We're going to try to do one and hook everybody up on either side. But that's how I would set up the session. If you have a different way to accomplish it, let us know, man. Put it in the comments. We'd love to know more about it. And if we can help you out, throw it in the comments. We'll take a check it out and see if we can answer any questions. Uh, thanks for watching. And, hey, stay safe. Love you guys. Peace.